that you'll need is this specific type of lighter and a small tip screwdriver used for prying stuff open. The most important step is to get the right type of lighter and so you need something just like this red one on the left and generally these do not have name brands. Uh, mine here says Canada Light but it could be different for yours and the key is that it has this adjustable knob right here. So that's the one that you will need. Now other lighters do have the adjustable knob like this one here called X-Lite and it does still work pretty good. It's not as good as the other one but if it has the knob it will work. This will not work with Bic lighters as you can see. There's no adjustable thing and Bic lighters just suck so don't buy one of these ones. So the first step here is to remove this metal casing at the top and to do that you're going to use your prying utensil. I have a small screwdriver here and sticking it in there, prying it open. You can also stick it in here somewhere. And the key is to only remove this metal casing. Make sure not to remove the wheel as it is almost impossible to put back in. So as you can see, I have removed the metal casing and this is what it looks like right here. I just pop right off. And so now to adjust the flame, this is the adjuster right here. And on the markings underneath, sorry, they're on, they're on the metal thing. You can see positive is by turning this counterclockwise. So what we're going to do is turn it as far as you can counterclockwise. And then, it, as you can see here, it just engages those gears. So lift up the black ring to disengage off of the white gears. Push over to the left so we are not moving the white spindle push down again to re-engage and open up over down open so I'm going to do that about four times and then we're done the modification and for an additional step you can replace the metal cover for safety or loss so there's the final modification, before and after, and since it might not look any different now, let me take it to a dark room to show you guys the real difference. Here we are, this is the pre-modified lighter, and this is the one we modified a little bit, so let's compare. Not bad. Nice. And it doesn't go in on its own sometimes, so you gotta give it a little shake. Once more, comparison. Hard lighting them both at once. There you have it. Pretty cool modification. Before and after. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Learn how to do this nice, easy modification. The key is to get the right lighter and follow the steps I showed you. And be careful, as if you open it too much, there is the chance of it going back down the tube and exploding in the lighter. So be very careful and do it somewhere where if it does explode, it won't burn your house down. So I'm not responsible, but uh, I said my part. So anyway, thanks for watching. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Help me reach the 100,000. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor and click that big red subscribe button right there. And also, check out some of my other videos by clicking the link on the screen. Here's for all my real fans who made it past the end card in the video. Nice little bonus video for you guys. Got four modified lighters here. And let's do this. Yeah, hope you enjoy.